The statement, Sir Fail. So apparently, Sir has failed according to the opposition, according to his critics, and uh, even the, the, the protest that was held by the opposition, they are claiming that the president has not delivered. Um, what do you think about that? Has Sir failed? No, I don't think he has failed. As I told you, of the three things that the people wanted, two he has delivered very well. The, the, these two they couldn't deliver for five years. They made a real mess of the, out of it. So president has delivered in that. And when it comes to economy also, I think we are working on it. We, we have certain issues that needs to be addressed. The problems that we are facing today are not problems created by us. These are problems handed over to us. And we are, we are gradually resolving them. And at the same time, if you look at what President promised in his manifesto, there were 10 areas, right? In all those areas, he has delivered. Take education, hasn't he delivered? Take uh, in rural uh, infrastructure, hasn't he delivered? Take national security, hasn't he delivered? In technology, we are moving forward. If you take one by one, we can go into detail and discuss. But, but then mm. why isn't the common man on the ground is not feeling this? Because for them, what we see, I mean, I'm sure when you come out, uh, uh, when you travel you, now, uh, on Tuesday, there were lines at the petrol station. Um, when you go into the market, prices are high. Uh, people are not feeling that, uh, Minister. How exactly do you manage that challenge? Because you say these things are happening but when people put their hand into the pocket which is exactly what they they want there should be money I understand very clearly that they have completely forgotten about the fact that we are in a COVID situation and I also attribute to the president and the government and our health officials the military everyone and, and I attribute to them the fact very fact is that they may manage to maintain what from 2015 what we lost they brought it back and then there's a maintenance now maintaining it itself is really hard uh, that's happening in this country so because of that people have forgotten that we are you know going through a COVID situation a global pandemic and all those things now how do you address that because despite what you say the common man does not have the ability to understand except the fact that when he puts his hand into his pocket if there's more money he's happy when there's not he's not you are absolutely right at the end of the day, what matters to the common man is his income, the cost of living, the, you, the normal problems. Uh, that we, we cannot deny that. that, that's, that that's the truth. And today, he's having problems, as you very correctly said. Uh, on one side, the prices have gone up. On the other hand, there are shortages of various items that he want to purchase. That problem is there. Now, since we are now talking to a more educated audience in this particular program, uh, let's try to understand what's the issue. But if you do understand the issue, then you'll understand the, the solution. Uh, it's the responsibility of a government usually to control the, the cost of uh, living, its collection of prices. Why is government struggling right now? Right? There's a problem yeah. you know, that you and I both understand that. Uh, we must understand the big picture, how we arrived here. Right? Uh, now in any country, or rather let's take Sri Lanka, we have had successive governments since independence. And every government we have had the reason of inflation and the cost, uh, cost of living going up. When there's a surge of prices, what do governments normally do? Let's take in the, in the past, what did government do? Funny, yeah. Yeah. They, do they, they use two things. One is taxation. Second one is control of imports and imports. This is what governments do to control price fluctuations going down or going up. Let's say if the prices are going down because of excess production. Let's say farmers have grown more paddy or uh, some other agricultural product and the production yield is greater and there's excess supply in the market and the prices are coming down. In order to protect the farmers, the government usually increase taxes on imports and control imports and thereby control the supply and demand help the, the producer. Uh, the other way, if the supply is less than the demand, right, like what you are facing today, uh, and the prices are going up, the government usually encourage imports. You, you bring import products, reduce the taxes on imports, and again create the balance, supply and demand. But today, can we do that? We are struggling with that. 
to in order to uh, bring products import products you need reserves because the local uh, importers do not have dollars in their hands no they have rupees they have to convert their rupees to dollars to do that they have to go to the banks the banks don't have dollars bank has to go to the central bank but what is the situation in the banks and the central bank what is the situation in the reserves in the country we are down to 2.8 billion reserves which is sufficient only for couple of months of uh, imports then the question you have to ask is why how how come we arrived here who is responsible for this situation i like to take a minute and explain this right if you go back to 2014 in 2014 we had a uh, foreign reserves of 8.3 billion in the kitty right if you look at 2009 2014 period uh, continuously this reserves are going up and according to the central bank projection at that time they were project central bank was projecting 140 billion 145 billion economy by uh, 2020 at that time it was 80 billion they were projecting 145 billion economy by 2020 and 6000 plus dollar per capita and also foreign reserves about 14 to 15 billion but in 2019 when we were when we got the government back what are the situation of foreign reserves we had not reached 14 billion in fact it had gone down we were at 7.2 billion so that was the the beginning of the problem